Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Okay. Hey, Mulligan. How are you, sir? Well, that's convenient. Well, last time I was like, night. Of course, night. <laughs> oh, you're, hey, Gil, what's up? Your wrist is killing you. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. You're doing well, doing well. Doing okay. Uh, trying to take another run at this scenario that was killing me last night. Um, fence skill zero. See what else? Uh, guild spell book. All right. Hey, what's up, Durbin? Yeah, this game is on good old games. It's, that's actually where I got it. Okay. Uh huh. More defense skill. Alright, let's see. Let's send him in here so he can pick a little bit up more up than he had before. One more set of troops, I think, from him is going to take care of it for that. Hey, what's up, Rookie? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, both great games, Derp. And actually, remember that Heroes Might Magic are both really cheap. Heroes Might Magic is like, uh, by itself right now, is five bucks, just so you know. So it is pretty, ch it is pretty cheap, so as you're calculating it, that might help a little bit. Yeah, I know, I hear you. <laughs> it does seem like it's always the way. Oh, I need a well. Alright. Well, well. Let me put you over there. Oh. 
buy you a spell book. Alright. Um, I don't want this guy to go too far because I want him to pick up... Hey, what's up, Rosa? It's good to see you. Um, oh, is it? No kidding, Durbin, really? Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, but that game will go back on sale again. That's that's not going to stay. You know, it's not going to... That, that, you know, you have to worry that that's going to be something that never comes back. All right. Let's see if that's enough to handle. That probably will be enough to get be enough to get resources, I think. So Alright, now he's gonna stay there and he's gonna pick up everything else. And this guy is going to be resource hound. He's gonna go around and pick up all the resources he can. <laughs> Good to see you, Rosa. So this game, I want my Unreal 3. <laughs> That's funny. It's based on the Unreal 3 engine, can't you tell? Ah, what? Where that you could get that close. Lost a pikeman, son of a. Okay. All right, good. Hit Zaro, I know, right? <laughs> I like how what I like I like how the way your mind went. It's like Zaro. Rose is like rabbis. <laughs> hey, what's up, Matt? Good to see you, man. Okay, what else do I need here? I'm going to need. Oh, so I'm gonna need a tavern. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll try to go about this a different way now. Yeah, man. Should I not be? I'm always happy to see you, Mac. Nice. Okay. I'm always happy to see you, sir. All right. Build us a tavern. Hey, what's up, Lego? Oh, seriously, Brookie? This is Heroes of Might and Magic. It's um, a turn-based strategy game um, where you gradually build up uh, troops, which you basically do through building up cities like this. There are different kinds of cities. I'm a knight, so this is um, my particular knight city. So it produces like archers, peasants, paladins, things like that. Um, and there's mages guilds, so there's spells and stuff like that. And then when you're out on the tactical map, you go around and pick up resources and stuff and fight other armies. And this is the campaign. I'm almost halfway through the campaign. Uh, and in this campaign, uh, it's basically it's called Free For All. So I'm basically trying to defeat the other lords. They kicked my ass last time, and I think the reason they did it is because I wasted too long kind of turtling up. And I'm not doing that this time. So now I got my dude here. Basically, this is my resource gathering hero. That's this guy who's going around um, gathering as many resources as he possibly can. While this dude, my sort of main dude, is waiting to build up a good-sized army. Not a massive army, but a decent-sized army. And then he's basically going to go around with the job of picking up another city. So what I did last time was I delayed too long, I think, to expand. Because that's what I'd like to do if I can. But I don't have the time. I don't like this as a starting city because it's too hard to defend. But I know from last night, while I was constantly getting my butt kicked, that there's another city up here, which is much more defensible. So I want to get this city sort of wrapped down as quickly as I can, get up here and take over that city, 
and uh, then I can kind of move up from there. So. Oh, the Cameron, cool. Like, oh, not sure yet, man. I'm not sure actually. We'll see how things go. I don't know if I'll be playing anything other than this or not. I don't know. I'm te yeah, rookie. It's like it's totally the way I like to play, but I just can't do it in this particular map. There's no way to do it. But there's so many, and this is only the first one. Here's my Magic 2, which is what I originally started with way back in the day. Uh, here's my Magic 3, like this, and the campaigns get more complicated, and there's lots more troops and stuff, and the music is cool, so. Alright, um. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so a couple of pro tips. You always want to save, and by the way, you see that day seven? So if down here are the different kinds of resources that you have. You need different resources to build different buildings. Day seven, at once a week, the population usually resets. Sometimes it doesn't always, but sometimes. I have heard of the Decameron, although I don't know a whole lot, of, uh, lot about it, Lego, but I have heard about it, yes. Yes, it's about killing a bunch of people in a medieval fashion. Yes, with great prejudice. Um, so you always want to save at the beginning of a turn. Because that way you have your movement available to you in case some dude comes flying out of the map to kill you. <laughs> Which is always a good thing. Yes. Yes, peasants. Oh, oh, large statue, the angel's eyes open, yay, morale. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. The other thing I didn't realize, by the way, is that... So, there are castle sieges, too. People will come and attack your castle. But I didn't... And uh, there's an arrow... There's a... Um, what do you call it? An arrow tower in your castle that shoots at troops on the field. And I didn't realize this, but the more buildings you have in your castle, the bigger the multiplier is in, in this version, in HOM 1. Um, so, that basically means the more buildings you have in there, the more damage you'll do for free, essentially. Which is pretty awesome. So... Swordsmen are awesome. And you can only build one thing per turn per city, so. Astrologers proclaim Week of the Hydra. Hydra growth plus five, all dwellings increase population. <laughs> yes, that's the way I was, Durbin. I thought, as I said, the indoctrination theory I thought was very clever, is very smart. I was impressed, but um, it. I don't think that's how. I don't think that's what's going on. <laughs> that Occam's razor, like the simplest solution, is usually the right one, and I think that's what's going on here, honestly. Oh, okay, I need a little more money for jousting arenas, and I'm definitely going to do that because. Can I afford that? No. Yeah, so I'm going to wait one turn on the jousting arena. I can spend up to 500, I guess, and still get it, so let's see. Okay, cool. I actually forgot to do... I'm supposed to move this guy first so I can get whatever I get. Like that, for instance. I'm not percent sure I can handle griffins yet. The other thing is, you don't necessarily want to clear enemies of your land out right away, because it also, that will also block potential enemies coming in, which is, you know, always good. But I do need to get resources like those mines, so that's where I'm going to head next. Yeah. I think it unlikely. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Jousting Arena. Hooray. Ooh, 15 crystal. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I didn't know. How much do you need for that? 20 wood, which I have. 20 crystal. So I need 5 crystal and 5,000 gold, huh? Wow. 
That's interesting. I'm going to get these resources. If I could get some crystal down there, I have to go through those centaurs to do it. Paladins this early would be really OP. Oh, cool. Welcome, Kenneth. Absolutely, I can give him a shout out. Welcome to the stream, sir. I hope you like what you see. Rookie's the man to learn from if you want to know about fancy dancy live streaming. Centaurs. Lots of them. Yeah, centaurs are not that big a deal, but they might be a problem because of the ranged ability. Like, basically, this guy, he's got enough people to be able to, you know, not have a problem against people like peasants, creatures like peasants and stuff. I'm not sure whether he can handle lots of centaurs, but we'll see. Alright. Let's save again, because I, I'm not giving myself more. At the end of the week, I'm by the end of the week, I'm sending my guy out come hell or high water to go get that other castle, so... Crystal. You need crystal? Ah. Uh, well, gold is good, too. Crystals would negate my archer advantage, so I'll hand him back that way. A horde of peasants, huh? 2760. Might be worth sending him out just to see. Let me see if I can get a few more guys to make this a little bit easier. I mean, that's going to cut into my gold reserve. All right. That's a lot of centaurs. <laughs> oh, he went. <laughs> hey, what's up, random? No, no. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm go it's the beginning of that same scenario that was kicking my ass last night. This time I'm trying to get my, my butt moving faster, damn it. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. See, by positioning myself there, I not only half the melee range of these, the melee damage of these centaurs, but I do it for all these three groups. So now only this one can hit him for full damage. And hopefully I'll be able to take care of that situation in a moment. Meanwhile, my peasants will very gradually get there. My peasants are going to arrive just about the time everyone's dead. <laughs> I'm almost there, sire. Seven archers. It'll be worth it if I can get that crystal. Ah, damn it. See? I already saw him there. I don't know. I may not be able to get the paladins. We'll see. That army is not a big deal. But he may have spells, which is what happened to me last night.
Darn it. Nice. What is the fireplace for? <laughs> Gargoyle in the forest. What's up, Regit? Good to see you, man. I love how the centaur thinks that the peasants are the most dangerous thing. He's probably right. Nice. That helps. I will happily take that. Meanwhile... That's cool. I know, Gargoyle is relatively tough for low level ones, so... Hey Zyron, what's up, man? Six, that's enough crystal. Sweet! Got some goblins. I'm gonna pick this up quickly and then I'm running the hell back to the castle. Meantime, I'm gonna have this guy here just in case the AI decides to get frisky. 5,000 gold. Oh, that's going to be a huge, huge deal. That'll be such a big deal. Alright. Alright. I'm not going to press my luck any further. I'm heading back now. 4260. One more turn. I see you, yellow. I see you. I see you knocking. Oh, I hear you, Zyron. Yes, get hyped. Get hyped. Oh. Yeah, paladins. And that's why you want paladins. 10 to 20 damage per hit, 50 hit points. This is the best thing this town can produce. To have it before the end of week two is pretty awesome. All right, that's really sweet. All dwellings increase population, good timing. Now it's on. Paladin's so early in the game. I know. I know. Well, it's going to help a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it's GG yet, but it's going to help a lot. A whole lot. Alright, that should be enough to keep my resource hero going for a bit. So let's save it. I'll send him down. Hopefully the peasants will just want to join him, but... No, they want to be dumb. Alright, well. If you peasants want to be dumb... A whole lot here. Yeah. There's a crystal mine below the trees. I'll check that out in a minute. Yeah, I don't know. I will see. Now this time I want to wait until the peasants come close to me. Come to me, peasants. Because the peasants are so slow against archers, they are basically screwed because the archers are going to go like this. One stack on. Oh no, here they come! Stack two. Zap. Oh, I get to attack again? Outstanding. Zap three. <laughs> I'm going to wait. 
Stack, stack four. And lastly, Paladin. Great sword. Strikes through all the peasants. <laughs> I'm not, not entirely sure if they should be, like, attacking. Like, if Paladins... Should Paladins attack peasants? Like, I have this feeling they shouldn't be doing that somehow. Something about that feels wrong to me. I don't know. Alright. Shouldn't they be protecting peasants? Like... Alright. Now. Alright, let's get this Thieves Guild up. And see... Number of castles. Okay, so no one has more castles. Some people have more towns. I've got two heroes, and green has more heroes. Alright, that's fine. So now I need to start recruiting Fronto. Alright, so next turn I'm going to get two paladins. Look at these goblins. The goblins are like... <laughs> I always love when you look at... Because goblins are from another resource type. Of another hero type. They're barbarian heroes. So it's kind of like the, gar the goblins like... Which one of these armies is not like the other? Like, note background, background, background. The goblins like, hey... Hey, man. Stop looking at me like, that's racist, man. Look, yeah, fine, I'm in a field, so? I'm just as good. What? Back off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Time to get some resources. Resources? Resources. Oh, that's another... So where is this this mine you guys are talking... Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Thank you. Alright, um... I'm gonna go sweep around this way then. Sweep the leg, that's what I'm gonna do. Man, peasants do not learn. <laughs> Seems legit. You would think they would already have heard about the other peasants, you know? Stack dead. Skip. 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 Stack dead. Stack dead. <laughs> it's true. He's only one paladin, too. He's just standing there like, I hate my life. Death. <laughs> Stack dead. Stack dead. Archers are so nasty against peasants. However, I'm not going to deal with a pack of paladins. Those archers will cause me more problems, but that's okay. Alright, let's get us some more paladins. Ha ha ha! Oh yeah! Let's get some cavalry, so I can't afford them yet. Right, let's get another pikeman. It should be enough to take out that mine. Ha! These peasants! <laughs> Notice this part. Notice, the, all of a sudden the peasants are like, Look, I heard what happened to Miles and Julius last week, so, um, can I join your army? Certainly, welcome to the cause. <laughs> Got me a mine. Welcome to the group. Oh, at some point I might, Zyron. At some point I might, although, uh, next month I'm actually going to be doing, um, Shadowrun. So, that is my plan. Let me go get that. Two more. Now this one I'm going to have to play a little bit differently because these guys are going to be fairly fast. So let's see.
will slow that guy because it's going to take the longest to get to him. Here I have to get there as fast as possible. Oh, that helps. Can I get here? Yes, I can. So this neutralizes all three of these units. It neutralizes this guy and neutralizes these two as well. So I need to get here pronto because the archers are going to just pick off the other archers. Yeah, there's shot one. Bye. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Okay. So I lost five archers. That's not bad, given the circumstances. So... More wood. Ooh, that's some nice artifact. Alright, let me go get that mine. Alright, let's get this experience. And... Alright. Let's add this up. All right, good. Now, cavalries. Wow, I can get eight of them. Sorry, goblins. <laughs> You're going to hang back here, guys. Hate to tell you, but... uh. Really use some more gold, actually. Oh, awesome, Zyron. That looks good, man. I'm looking forward to it, dude. No, Zyron, Shadowrun is coming out next month, dude. It's not out yet. So you haven't played it yet. You may have heard of another game, but it'll be coming soon. <laughs> exactly, Reggie. I should get goblins with my moving hero. Actually... Yeah, that's true. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll have him pick up those goblins en route. I have to go that way anyway, so... Uh, it's called Shadowrun Returns. It's a tactical-based... Um, uh, it's like a, basically kind of like a Baldur's Gate, but turn-based thing, isometric turn-based role-playing game. Um, and I've been telling people in chat that I think, I don't know, I sent him the email today, that I'll be able to get, uh, John Helfers is the managing editor of the Shadowrun cycle, uh, literature cycle. He's also the guy who bought my first novel, and, uh, I'm co-editing an anthology with him. So I'm hoping that I can get a hold of him, because he's the guy who did the anthology for this project, too. If you order the Shadowrun Returns Deluxe Edition, you get an anthology with a bunch of authors. And he was the managing line, so I'm going to try to get him to come when I do my first playthrough of Shadowrun and answer questions from viewers. And if I'm really lucky, I'll get Jordan Weissman, who's the creator of Shadowrun, who worked on this game, too. I'd be able to get him as well. But that's that's a long shot. I mean, you know. Uh, but anyway, so. Be cool. Um, yeah, it'd be really awesome if I can get that. I know for sure, I'm pretty sure I can get John. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Jordan. That's a long shot, but John would be pretty awesome, so. Either way. Oh, random. Uh, yeah, he could probably do it. I could figure, I'd have to talk to him about that. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. See if he could manage it. Probably he could. Alright, let's go here. Let's have my guy, based on the very good suggestion by Regitark, go down and give you some goblins. I present you with these goblins. Paladin like glares at him. Alright, I'll go back to home base. I built everything? Yeah, except the mage's guild, that's fine. None there. Oh, you'll be my special guest. Mac, every time you're here, you're my special guest, my friend. Every time. Lots of archers. We'll see if I can get by. I'm, that would be nice if that's a crystal mine for sure. Oh, I see somebody. Alright, we're going to save this. 
So like I said, end of this end of this week, I'm heading out to go get those other castles, so. Really could use some more gold. Oh, nice. It is a crystal mine. Thank you, whoever told me that it was a crystal mine. I don't know if it's red or not. What's up, Kage? Dude, we got paladins. Yes, we did. Yeah, Zyron, it's a pretty cool game. I, I think it looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. Hey, what's up, Laporce? Yeah, I'm, 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 it looks pretty good to me, Zyron. It totally does. But, I mean, who knows? I mean, I, it also... <laughs> God knows we could be disappointed, but... All right. Let's get that crystal mine. But mine is mine. All right. Now I'm going to send him back. And he is going to be my defense hero. For the moment. Whilst my guy picks up the remaining troops that he can afford... Okay, I do wish I had... Yeah, I think I may try to get some archers to replace these peasants. Alright, I'll wait another day. There, Yeah, there's a Shadowrun game that came out not long ago. I don't remember the name of it. I shouldn't say not long ago, but like relatively recently. That I've heard is kind of... I've heard mixed reviews about it. Um, but it wasn't really supposed to be Shadowrun. Like... The, it was done by Microsoft had the rights for a while and the guy the creator Jordan Weissman finally got um, the rights back from Microsoft most of the rights not all of them and so uh, yeah so I think that's basically what what you're thinking of if I'm not mistaken although supposedly Shadowrun Returns Mayor I, don't, I think it might be um, what do you call it cross platform um, possibly I'm not 100% sure if that's true but Okay. Now we're going to send our boy up this way. Dun, 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 dun. Next turn, I pick up the rest of the guys and I go. Okay, so we go here. We go exchange some people. Actually, uh, yeah. All right. He goes in here. Now his job is going to be to basically sit on this castle and defend it. <laughs> That's his job. <laughs> And our fearless hero is going to go heading off this way. Now, I happen to know because I was playing this yesterday that there's a city up here. So I'm going to want to go up in this direction. Swindled? Uh, yeah, exactly. See, you're being sarcastic. You know I loved Arcanum. The cavalry with the golden hoof. Oh, this thing? This is an artifact. Um, but I, with that hero, I didn't have enough necessarily to take on a pack of cavalries without losing some people. So once I build up his troops, I may send him out again. The hope is that I'll go up, I'll have him come up, take over another city. Then he, who's my secondary hero, can go out. I'll take basically like a babysitter hero, will stay to defend the castle. And then he'll go out and start doing the stuff down here as my secondary hero. That's the hope. Last time I couldn't do it because I didn't have enough time. But this time, you know, hopefully I will have more time to see my plans find fruition. I'm going to see about taking on these um,
Let's see if I take in on these paladins. 157 peasants, right? <laughs> I know. Peasants are like not joking around. So this, I'm, this is, I'm trying, this is speculative. This may not work. I may not want to do that because that's a lot of paladins. But... That's a lot of paladins. I don't know. Shoot. Ten versus two, you lose. Paladin versus Paladin, fight! Uh, there go my archers. May not have been worth it. We'll see how good this artifact is. Traveler's boots of mobility. Ah, uh, two thousand gold, huh? Well, I guess we'll see how good it is next turn. Oh God, Zyron, you're right. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I saw that, that you get the editor, too. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to want to do it this way. I don't know whether... We'll see how good those boots are. If not, then I won't, use, then I won't do that. What do the boots do? Increase my movement. Yeah, but how much, though? For people who don't know, this is, um, I mentioned this last night, the uh, obelisk um, has uh, links to a map, basically portions of a map uh, that show you where the ultimate artifact is buried, which is like, it can be like a badass sword or like an awesome shield or something like that. Um, but there's lots of obelisks all across the land and it, nine times out of ten it's not worth doing. The last campaign scenario, actually, I had to find the ultimate artifact, that was the only way to win. Most of the time I ignore it, but you know, if I'm there. Look, it's totally... I completely see where it is. No, not. Okay. Lots of dwarves. Oh, that's a town, not a castle. That's interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Alright, well, I may take over that town and head north. Okay. Anti-magic. Did I really reg it? Yeah. Okay. It might be worth it. What's up, maps? God, my once proud army. Still pretty awesome as an army. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the dwarves get a little closer. Obviously, I want my paladins doing most of the heavy lifting here. Two hundred seventy-five damage. 
Wow. 298 damage. <laughs> GG dwarves. GG dwarves. Yes, it is. I pre ordered it on Steam, actually. Alright, well, that was cool. Here goes the town. 30 archers. I gotta get up there pronto. Slow down, please. Ah, the archers are gonna get one shot off, which sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it. Good night, peasants. 509 damage to the peasants. <laughs> awesome, man. That's a good, yeah, that's a good thought, Regit. Yeah. Three hundred seventy-six damage. GG. All right, the city is mine now, or the town. Now the only problem with this is that it costs five thousand gold to build a castle, which I'm definitely going to have to do. Um, So I'm going to have to wait to get some gold. But this lighthouse is nice because this lighthouse will allow me to let my ships move further each turn. And so once I get a shipyard built, that will be really nice down there. All right, how much did they say for a... 5,000. Uh, this is going to be interesting because... Alright, I'm saving it there. I, waiting four turns to get gold is a lot of time to wait. Be gone to the peasants. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Reg, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, well, the thing is, I'm, I'm going to have to save a little bit of my gold to convert this into a regular city, is what I have to do. In the meantime, I'm going to send my dude... First of all, I'll make sure that's okay. I don't like leaving my city unguarded, so I'm not going to do that. Gem mine. I'm going to keep going up north. Ah, another town. Make it happen. Take out those druids. Oh, are you going to attack my paladins? You're so cute. So cute. Good night, druids. Please get out of my face, fairies. Thank you. Nice. Two of the towns are mine. That's what I like to hear. Or see, or something. Tent. See, I need to convert that too. I have a bunch of dwarves I could recruit. Bunch of sprites. That's right, you guys haven't seen another kind of city. This is another one. Oh, actually... People who were watching me last night, do you guys know what this city produces? What its top unit is? Uh, its second top unit. Unicorns. Does anyone remember the OP godliness of unicorns? Does anybody recall? Oh, no problem, Regit. Unicorns. Yep. Yeah, unicorns are ridiculous. Like, completely ridiculous. 
I still want to take out the other city. I'm still worried about that. 2360. I still need more... Still need more gold. And I'm worried about how much gold it takes to get them, is the thing. Week of the Aardvark. Okay. Yeah, seriously, random. Unicorns plus pallies? Doom. Treasure gets XP or gold. Yeah, actually, I was watching a Let's Play of this today, and the guy was claiming that you should never take the experience. I've always been taught the opposite. I always thought you always take the experience and not the gold. Speaking of gold... One, huh? All right, let's try to get the jump on this guy. Yeah, he's gonna... Move, 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 paladins. Huh, you're so cute. Down goes Frazier. God, Paladins are so good at this part of the game. It really is crazy how good they are. You know? Hey, what's up, Zykox? Welcome in. I am glad that you like the chats in French. Gold. There's gold in them there hills. All right, does that give me enough? 4860. I got one more turn and I can convert one of these castles into... Probably lakeside. I don't like the fact that there's nobody there protecting it, but... Yeah, I don't like moving that guy out of there. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, I, I think. Those pallies are just so nasty. I mean, like, at this part of the game, now, granted, they could still get... Trust me, paladins are not invincible. But at this part of the game, that's pretty OP. <laughs> Which I'm not complaining about at all. Basically, I'm sending this guy north. He's picking up resources. What I really want to do is come across one of the guy's cities, wipe out the guy's city and pick it up. Then I'll kind of turtle down a little bit. But, you know. All right, one more turn. Then I have a tough decision to make, which is... I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let me save this first. Always save at the beginning of your turn. More of the ultimate artifact. I think you just said, I love me, Regit, I think is what you just said. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Now, here's the tough call. The question is, do I upgrade this city or do I upgrade this city? Now, I would say that I would upgrade this city for a couple reasons. One, it's more it, it's a little bit more exposed than this city is. And it's a different type, which would allow me to get unicorns. However, the reason I would upgrade this city is because you can get a shipyard at this city, and the shipyard would allow me to... Um, at this uh, city would allow me to um, build a shipyard and the shipyard would allow me to basically run around the edge of the map and basically get resources that way. So I have to decide if I want to do this one or the other one. Oh, hold on a second. I'm getting some, uh, some Skype chatter. Give me a second. So actually, while I'm doing that... Oh, okay, you wrote it correctly. All right, cool. So, yeah. Yeah, shipyard would take some time. I'm going to want it eventually. So, chat, why don't you discuss it? Should I upgrade this one and get the shipyard when I can? Or should I upgrade this one because of unicorns and uh, that way I can more easily defend it? While I answer the Skype thing quickly.
Okay. Hopefully this doesn't... Sometimes this screws it up when I alt-tab. Alright, so what do people think? Oh, you're voting? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Unicorns, 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 unicorns. What the hell is six? <laughs> Mac. 73. What's up, Travis? Welcome to the stream. I hope you like what you see. Alright, I agree with you guys. I'm going to go with the unicorns also. Let's make it happen. It's so beautiful. Holy cow, 30 dwarves? And 40 ferris, 40 sprites. Alright, well. It's going to be something. I'll still need to recruit a hero. I need to get some more defense down here, too. I'm going to have to go back and forth basically defending them, so. Hey, what's up, Anam? Good to see you, man. Yeah, um, everybody knows that Anam, uh, and most people know Anam on my chat, but if not, he's on Destructoid, and we are currently planning. Why are you doing that? Ugh. Stop it. Stop. Game, stop. <clears throat> oh, man. All right, hold on a second. Nope, it's determined. Anyway, um, so... Uh, so we're planning a, um, Baldur's Gate stream. And, um, so that's one of the things he's here about, to talk about. Okay, cool. That's fixed now. See you, Zaren. Thanks, man. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so, yeah, and, um, I mean, you tell me what you want to do. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with whatever, um... But I, wa I just want to make sure that we kind of get things squared away at some point, that's all, but... That's ah, doing the thing. It's doing the thing it does with the thing. Oh god, unicorns! No! Actually, against my paladins, even unicorns will probably not be able to... Uh... Uh, I think I see a city. It could be a city or it could be a gate, I can't really tell. Red Tower, Phoenixes. Oh my god, are Phoenixes OP. You guys haven't even seen Phoenixes. They are nasty. Okay, requires Stonehenge. That requires a Mage Guild. And an Archery Range. Alright, well, let's... Actually, I need to recruit a hero, too. Alright. Let's recruit a Warlock. Okay, gonna need more monies. I know, that's true. No sweating, Nam. Okay. So now I got me my three heroes. He's protecting that. He's still there. He's gonna wander up there. And I am definitely gonna save. Don't worry about that, Regit. Aw, oh, son of a... See, already. Already. Sandro! That's not a great army. But he may have superior magic. We're gonna save this under Ak. God, stupid... Oh, how I... Hate that. Let's do it. Every time it all tabs, it causes problems. See if I can... Really? I'll see if it fixes it when I go to the other one. Uh, I'm gonna go for the gold here, because that way I can... Yes, I will take greater glory. Oh my god, dude. So annoying. Normally it fixes itself with a turn, but... Yeah, I'm hoping that gold is gonna help, um... This is just sulfur packets. Okay. Alright, now...
Alright, there's 29 dwarves. I mean, that's got to help a little bit. Alright, we're going to see whether that's going to do anything or not. Ah! See that? The little bastard. All of a sudden, he's running away. Running away, eh? He's, he's going to... Because he's like, oh, crap. Yeah, I know. I could probably do that. We'll see whether it's still doing it. If it's still doing it, then that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it again under... Back. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Hold on a second. Give me a moment to restart. <laughs> the good news is that once I'm done with Hot Heroes of Might Magic, I never have to deal with DOSBox again on stream. DOSBox is great for playing games from the mid-90s. It is not, however, so great at anything else. <laughs> Alright. Now. Hold on while I coordinate. Okay, there we go. Hey, what's up, Warp? That's a curious, uh, I don't know why I hadn't thought about that. Oh, I think that's a gate. Crystal mine. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, pack of minotaurs. That could be a castle too. Phoenix is too. Yeah, exactly. The complete wizardry series. All right, now, little punk. Is there anything else I can recruit right now? I forgot that when you get another city, you have more gold. So now I have two thousand gold coming in per turn. That was also going to help. Alright, now, come back here. Well, his, his magic better be OP, because... Because otherwise... If his magic is nasty, then... Then I'm going to have some trouble, but otherwise... I forgot he doesn't have a spell book yet, damn it. Now it's going to be a question of whether I can get them there in time. Because dwarves are tough, but they are slow. Uh, I think it's fine, Anom, unless there's anything, like, secret. <laughs> you know? Hey, 180, what's up, man? I guess he doesn't have Armageddon this time. Yep. What's up, punk? Leave my town alone. Don't ever do that again. Now I'm going to run back and hide like a little child. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I see someone else trying to come in. Yeah, I see you, I see you. However, I'm back. I 
Oh, I need more gold. Okay, well, I get 2,000 a turn, so I can spend 1,000. That's too much. Can spend another 500. Wait, is that right? No, how much is it? 2,500. No, I can spend another 200. Perfect. One dwarf. I'm pretty happy with his dwarfs. See, here's the thing. Look at their hit points. 20 hit points for an early unit is pretty good. That's 400 hit points worth of damage that has to be done to that dwarf. I mean, they're slow, but they, they can tank it pretty much. Well, that's... Okay, that's cool, Anam, but the only question is whether or not we want to sked... I mean, do we want to test it? I'm just nervous about us getting on there and being like, Alright, let's go, and then... It doesn't happen. You're quite right, Mac. Thank you for reminding me. Well, crap. That means I shouldn't have done what I just did. Well, actually, no, because I needed to get... No, I didn't need to get that well. That was... Oh, well. That was just a fail. Uh, <laughs> so, um... I failed there, and, uh, that's alright, though. Add some peasants. Oh, a gold mine. <gasps> alright, we're gonna save this under... Con 3. I need to get this well, oh well. All right, now, Minotaurs, I don't remember how fast they are. I don't recall. But as you can see, 35 hit points, and they do some damage, so... So I want them to come to me. Okay, that's fine. Swimsuit Minotaurs. <laughs> Is that what you see them as? That's funny. Stop attacking my cavalries. I'm probably going to lose my cavalries in this fight. Go to it, dwarves. The peasants are like, I'm here! Yep, yeah, I figured I was going to lose my cavalries. Nice. Okay, well that's cool, Anam. Yeah, then let's do it. Let's, let's do it for Friday. Uh, we hopefully will have six. I know that Satolbo may still be in Europe, but I may have an alternate. So minimum we'll have five, otherwise we'll have six. So yeah, let's let's make it happen. Really could use that gold mine. Phoenix are nasty though, so... This may be as far as I can go with this group, but let's see. Take me a little while. Ah, oh, shh. Well... Do I get to go now? Still can't cast anything. Yeah, he has some dwarves too. But I've got an arrow tower. Yeah. 
Nice. Now I get to sit back here and watch as the arrow tower takes them out until I have to engage them. Yep, I love the arrow towers. Good night to your peasants. Yep. Wow. Fortunately, there's no permanent effect on the walls. I'll bet low morale causes you to freeze in panic. That's right. I have gained a level. Don't do that again, punk. Alright, I need this mage guild right now. Alright, let's see what I got next turn coming up. Yeah, it was a little close. Those, those dwarves take up a... can some, take some damage for sure. Okay, so I've got plenty of resources. I just need the gold. And I can spend, let's see, 16. I have 1,800. I get a thousand, I get 2,000 each turn. So, let's see, 3,800. So I can spend uh, 1,300 roughly. So I'll spend 1,000 of it. Uh, if I can, I may not even be able to. By the way, elves are not bad either because of the damage they can do. They can do two shots, I think, or they have 24 shots. They got a lot of shots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that many. Yeah, I am going to go for it. I wanted to at least get that part done. Alright, here we go. Phoenix. This is going to be rough even with my paladins. Phoenixes are bad. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> so this is very much not... That's why I saved it first. Like, this is going to be hard. They also damage the unit behind them. I don't know if you could notice that. But they also damage the unit behind them. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenixes are pretty... pretty OP. They're expensive as all hell to recruit, too. My peasants are like, what? So do maximum damage I can. I know, I know. That's why I'm saying it may not be worth doing all this. It shows how OP paladins are, though, that they can do this. Like, that's crazy. That extra gold is pretty nice, I have to say. Pretty nice, but I feel like now I gotta I gotta send him back home. All 
All right. I'm gonna save this under something else, like uh. Yeah, but it's but Regit, it's a thousand gold per day. A thousand gold per day. You realize that, right? It's not a thousand gold once. <laughs> I don't actually remember what this does. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, he's getting overextended. I don't want to do that. Oh, of course, I can't remember what I just saved that under. Does anyone remember what I saved that under? Was it... I hope it was black. No, it's not black. What the heck did I save it under? Did I save it under Ack? No, what the hell did I save it under? It was on black? No, it can't be. No, that's not that's not it. Con three? Okay. God, I would love to have more descriptive titles, I swear. No, it's not con three. Where did I save it? Uh Let's check out Ur. Mm-hmm. There it was Ur. You guys should have realized it was Ur. <laughs> oh man. Actually this time I'm actually gonna get uh the gold. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, it's time to head home. Alright. Alright, Stonehenge. There we go. Okay, now... Fenced Meadow is done, and I have enough gems, so next turn I'll be able to get unicorns. Ooh, and I'm gonna have enough. I need 10,000 gold to produce a phoenix. Oh my god, so expensive. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, I'll definitely be able to get that. So I get 2,000 a day, so I can spend... Um, 800, 1,800, basically. So I'll spend 1,500. 3 druids. By the way, check out the druids. 25 hit points isn't bad. But 5 to 8 damage is pretty awesome, with good attack and good defense. How much was it again? 3,000? So I could spend another 7,500 roughly? 700 I could actually spend, but... Now, druids are not unicorns. That is definitely true. <laughs> they are not unicorns. It's good to see everyone tonight, by the way. Um, by the way, Inam, if you said it and I missed it, I'm sorry, but just let me know about what you think about the, uh, if you're okay with a la the not testing thing. I'm fine for us to get started on Friday, like Friday night. That's, sound sounds good. Sign me up. But I just want to make sure that we're okay with that. If you answered that and I missed it, I'm sorry. All right. Nice. I thought I missed that the first time. All right. That's oh, boogie. Fenced meadow. 
Oh, unicorns. All right. Look at them. Look at the lovely unicorns. 40 hit points each. 7 to 14 damage. Unicorns. Unicorns, you're on my side. You're no longer going to take me for a ride. My little pony. I know. Where's my bronies at? Where are my bronies at? Can you imagine a mounted paladin on a unicorn? It does like 800 damage per hit and it has like 150 hit points. And like enemies just see them and they're like, what the... Good, give me a... What the crap? <laughs> That's all they do. <laughs> That's what I should... I should totally... My next novel should totally be that. It should just be like paladin on a unicorn. And I shouldn't even title it anything else. I should just call it paladins and unicorns. The OP edition. That's that's my new novel. Paladins and Unicorns. Paladins on Unicorns, the OP edition. They soil I know they're like At that point they just kinda go like, alright, who's who's been who's been breaking the game? Whoa. I do not want to end the turn, no. It's almost getting to the point, by the way, if I can up this a little bit higher and make that into a city, I can not only um that's going to give me even more gold. So actually, I think I may... Let's see. Yeah, I may wait. Because if I can wait one more turn and get enough to turn that into a city, I would up my income big time. So, four, so I can afford to spend 400 gold, basically. Afford to spend. No, can't spend that. All right, that's fine. <laughs> exactly. He only needs one mounted paladin. Unidins. <laughs> Unit. Yeah. Palicorns. Palicorns and unidins. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. Well, I'd be, yeah, but I have to turn it. I have to wait until I actually get that money. Is the thing. All right. Let's save that under Arvcon 2. Okay. Keep on going. Gotta keep moving. We gotta keep on rolling. Yes. More golds for the win. Now I need to recruit a hero there. Next turn, I'll be able to recruit. Forget actually how much it costs for... Does it cost for a hero? 2,500? So I get now 3,000 a turn, if I'm correct? Actually, let's double check this. Total gold per day, 4,000. Oh, that's more than I thought I had. I get 4,000 gold a day? Okay, that's pretty nice. The AIs are like, oh crap, he figured it out. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. I don't want to mock the AIs yet. 4,000 gold. So, if I can make 4,000 gold a day, that means that um, I need 2,500. So, 400 minus 4,000, which means 1,500. Um, 1,500, so... Oh, what am I talking about? So, I don't need to, I can spend all of it this turn. That's, yeah, like, what am I, what was I worried about exactly? I don't know what I was thinking about. I know, right? Two heroes. Well, I'm just going to get one to build them up. Like, I want, I want these guys, you know. I don't want any low-hanging fruit. My god, it took him all that time and he's almost, he's almost now getting back. He's like, hi guys, what did I miss? Well, you see. Okay, now we get to recruit a hero. So we got a barbarian. Now, see, one of the things that I want to look here at is... I like the magic power, and I like the fact that it's coordinatable with that other city, but this one has got better defense, 
and he's going to be basically sitting in the city, so I think I'm going to recruit him. In uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, there's actually a Necropolis. Actually, there might be a Necromancer in this one, too. And in Heroes of Might and Magic 2, undead creatures in your army cause low morale to every other living creature in the army. So if you try to mix them together, they're just like, <laughs> they're like, they're like, uh, you know, like the morale's low and they're like, crap, man, I don't want to fight next to a skeleton. Alright, now let's take a look. So now we have like three Thieves Guilds. This gives us more information. So I look at this. I have the most number of castles and the most number of heroes. I don't have a lot of wood and gold. Like, I'm lower on that, but these things are good. Now, I don't know about army strength and this stuff yet. I'll need another one for that, but... I'm glad to hear that, though. That is good news. That means they've been beating each other up while I'm trying to lock down this side of the map, basically. All right, now. Exactly. Go for the gold. All right. At 4,000 gold a day, you know what? You know what, guys? If they're not going to attack me right now, I'll save it just to be sure, but this costs 10,000 gold, right? That means in two turns, I could have a phoenix. Oh, oh. All right, that's that's too good not to give it a shot. So I'll save it first just in case. Okay, let's see. Hey, what's up, G? <laughs> I am scheming. Yes, I am scheming. That's right. Because I'm thinking about a phoenix, and all of a sudden I went all weak in the knees. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's a windmill. Yes, that is going to give me some resources. Good to see you, G. How are you, man? G, I hope you don't mind that I'm playing some fantasy. I just needed a little bit of a break from sci-fi. I love, don't get me wrong, XCOM's awesome, it's just that I needed a little bit of a break um, from, like, killing aliens, which I've been doing for, like, the last 170 consecutive hours. I think I'm actually, I may bring, oh, cool, G, that's awesome, man. I may bring the Phoenix with me, Kage, I'm not sure, and I'm going to keep exploring, yeah, for sure. 8,000 gold. So I can afford to, well, no, actually, because I want to actually save some gold to actually get the Phoenixes once I build a red tower, so... Two gems. Oh, look at a crystal mine. That's cool. All right. Oh, I just realized I can't do that. Huh. That's funny. I think those mobility boots were worth it, by the way. Ah, darn it. I, I don't have a magic book, so that's going to make it kind of useless. Okay. Here we go. So, Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. Here we go. Also, Phoenix is probably my favorite mythical creature, so... Yes! The Red Tower. Look at that. A hundred hit points. Oh. So OP. Wow, it only produces one per week, huh? Well... You got a phoenix, right? 
Yes, I did, G. Uh, wait. Baldur's Gate 2? I know about Baldur's Gate 1. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, Regid, I know. They're like too OP. Like, oh my god, that thing is amazing. All right, well. I'm wondering if I should just leave him. Maybe I will leave him for defense, and I'll just get a bunch of freaking, uh... Because what day is it? What day is it? Yeah, it's day one, so I'm not going to get another one for another week, so I'm not going to wait around that long. So, screw it. I'll just freaking max out my, you know, the rest of my unicorns and, like, of my unicorns, and then we'll see what happens. So I'll have him pick up a bunch of unicorns, like, as much, like awesome troops from him, and then set him off again. Yeah, I did do the one. Yes, G, I did. I got Baldur's Gate 1, yep. Dan, it's EE. -E. It's actually the extended, uh... It's the extended... Or not extended, what do you call it? Enhanced edition. Yes, I did, because I'm going to be doing that. Apparently, it's going to be starting on Friday. So... Yeah, assuming that I remember, Regid. You guys will have to help me out. Alright. Oh, look at you. What are you doing down there? Oh, aren't you cute? All right, well, here's how this is going to go, my love. And right, what else have I got here? Okay, I'm right about that. What else can I do? Right? I know. Alright, so six. Thirty dwarves. Thirteen. I'm going to replace the one druid with the phoenix. He's going back in here. Now. Heh. <laughs> Alright, we're going to save that just in case. We're going to save that somewhere else. Save that back in Ack. It may be spells. Yeah, we'll find out. Sixteen druids. That's, that's no joke. Just in case. Alright, we're about to find out how OP the Phoenix is. Notice that it hits both units. Nine druids now. I don't want her coming over to deal with me. Nice. Well, then what I'm going to do at that point is... Can I get to him? Yes. Ah, you killed my phoenix, you son of a... I mean, on the other hand, it meant that the phoenix occupied attention. And, like, it took down that troop. Two shots on those. Nice. You know what? Those elves, those elves are not bad. They're like double archers, basically. I'm pretty happy with that. I gotta be honest. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, what I'm going to basically want to do is counterattack. So let me see if I have anything else down here. More dwarves. More elves. 
I know, seriously, G. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's, well, that's true, that's true. If I got three phoenixes, yeah. Wish that city were closer, but... Alright, so he'll pick up the rest from them. I'm basically going to have him... I'm going to have him stay there, and then I'm going to have him move up north to counterattack, because the hero came from somewhere over here, and I want to take out that city right now while I get a chance. Not saving it yet, because I don't know... Let's save it under... Alright, this time we are saving it under Black. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let me max out the guys I can get first. Dwarves? Ah, oh, damn it. Shoot, I should have gone for druids. Oh, well. Okay. Now go back. And you go forth. Aha! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? 33 elves, so... Get off my archers. Yeah, but remember... Now, I don't know how many unicorns he's got either. He's got 11 unicorns. Yeah, so, I mean, that's... That could definitely be an issue, but... question is how much can I take out most of those guys in the meantime I need my catapult to get in there like right now my paladin's like put me in boss put me in coach come on open it up Yes. Nice, nice, nice. You could control the catapult um, in, I think, Here's My Magic 2. I believe you can. Nice. Yes. And they're blinded. Blinded by the light. Yes. I did it. I took out yellow. Nice. We took out yellow. Oh, look at what a nice, almost fully completed place they've left for me. Look at that. That's so nice of them, isn't it? I really appreciate that. that that's, it's kind. It was like they left them behind. You know, they were like, look, I don't want to make this difficult for this guy. So now I've locked down the whole right side of the map. Not to mention, by the way, because we've now got, what, five, four cities? So now let's take a look at our income. 5,000 gold a day. Nice. Yes, sir. 
I still got how many paladins do I have left? I got three paladins still from that original crew. See, I knew when I got paladins that early, that was really going to help. Nice. He had one castle, so he was trying to help. He's like, please, God. And no, didn't work out. Didn't work out for him. Okay, remember, you always save at the beginning of a turn. Oh, what's green doing down there? What? I mean, a couple of ogres, dude, really? First of all, get in, get in there, son. Need a tavern. I know, from the ten that we had. Hey, they got me a long way, though. I'm perfectly okay with that. They, they got me a long way. Out of dwarves. Out of those. I'm not super crazy about my defense here right now because that's not a great sized army so I'm not super pleased with it but and I still got four days to go yeah but on the other hand he did take a lot of damage G I mean admittedly you know I also don't have nearly enough of this I need more uh, mercury <clears throat> to make a red tower. No, I think it's time to start showing some of these other cities some love. Um, let's get us some unicorns. Get some more elves, which I can't do because I don't have any money. And one dwarf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought about that random. The reason I'm worried about recruiting paladins is because uh, they would take too long to get up here, like relative to where everybody else is. So I'm not sure. He may just be there to sort of harass. I, if I were him, I would not attack with that. I mean, he's got orcs, but like that's not, you know. We're going to save that under this. Yeah. So. I mean, also, I guess I could just take a bunch of my guys and just go down and deal with them now. But, I don't know. won the battle, but we have lost the war. <laughs> you may have won this battle, but we have lost the war. Wait. God damn it. Doesn't mean what I thought it did. Let's see what he does. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh crap. That was the oh crap response. He was like, well, I don't know if that's really... Gonna get another Thieves Guild so I can see more about where he stands. Alright, here we go. Now we know. So, so, oh wow, look at green. So they have more towns, but they don't have as many castles as we do, nor do they have as many heroes. They've got gold, wood, gems, this is all more. And the total army strength, which is a little bit hard to figure, they don't, the game is a little bit odd about how they handle the army strength, but green clearly is a risk. Um... I mean, that's just partly because I've also been taking over a bunch of castles. So now I'm basically sitting down and turtling is what I'm doing. Yeah, he was probably just scouting it out, you know. Yeah. So I got to wait on him. Was it day five? Yeah, all right. So in the meantime... Yeah, I don't have anywhere near for the Red Tower, so... Now we're starting to get some people. 
And 31 dwarves. You know, when I get the... Th I'm going to have 74 dwarves in this party. Check this out. Right now I have 44... I'm going to have 74 dwarves, 20 hit points each. Those guys are going to be big time tanks. So... <clears throat> And yeah, Random, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically build him up with everything but Phoenixes. And then I'm going to send him up north and then west to hopefully take out whatever the blue is dealing with. Because it's obviously, green has obviously got a bunch of the left side of the map at this point, I would guess. So I'm going to send them this way. And then as soon as I bring him up and send him over, I'll recruit a hero. Because I make enough gold now that I can literally recruit two heroes a turn if I wanted to. So... But actually, one thing I should do while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I need, let's see, 24,000. So I'll, to get all the rest of them, I'll pretty much have to spend not a whole lot of money. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to max out these other ones. Like, I bet, actually, you know what? This is going to be funny. I get, Let's check out how many paladins there are. 12 paladins available here. I thought it was going to be a lot. Yeah. That's interesting. That's going to be pretty awesome. So what I might do is I might build up these guys. So once I've got this these cities more set up, then I'm going to build um, this guy's army up. And I'm going to send him southwest. So one guy is going to go this way and try to take over this way. While my other, my primary hero up here is going to go this way. And then, like a pincer movement, we will crush our enemies in the middle and laugh on their graves. Okay. No, I'm just taking a break, Falk. What's up, man? Good to see you. Doing a little fantasy action. What's up, Akanku? <laughs> Excellent. All right. My dwarves, right? And my axe! <laughs> Fun times. Alright, one more dwarf to get. And I can send him out. Although, actually, day six. It might be worth waiting just so I can get some more unicorns and then head over there. Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> my warlock needs to up his magic game. Oh, you know what? You're right, dude. I keep forgetting to get his... Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. So next turn, first thing I will do is I will get his spell book. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh, he's got some hydras. All right, let me take care of that guy first. I did kill yellow. Yellow is down. Now see, this is interesting. I wonder if he's coming at me. Hmm. Well, here's what's gonna... I better just make sure. I've been... I better, you know, not take any chances. Have eight paladins. Oh, and I'll also get a... Well, actually, no. Also, I'm gonna get a bunch of archers. Let's see if he decides to come down and get me now. Hey, bro, you want to take your uh, your gargoyles and uh, centaurs and go after me with my, your several hydras? With my eight paladins? You want that? Huh? Tell me if you do. <laughs> He's like, um... We will now run away courageously. Alright, good. Day one, right? Alright, cool. He's like, I know, he's like a hundred peasants. He's like, wait. Oh, you're talking about me. Yeah, yes, yes, I do. Oh! Oh my god! Every w that was just when you first get the tower. There's one in it, but you get three. Oh, but I can only afford one because I don't have enough sulfur. I need—I mean, mercury. I need to get more mercury. Wow, though. 
Still, still, that's still awesome. Wow, three phoenixes? Okay, gotta wait more turn. One more turn for that. Yeah, I know, I know, Kage. I'm, I'm gonna take care of him in a minute. I'm going to deal with him in just a moment. Yeah, that 5,000 gold is pretty ridiculous. I'm gonna send him out. I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'm gonna have him buy a bunch of stuff, basically more unicorns and things, and then head him over to the west. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I'm not entirely sure he knows what the hell he's doing. Alright, change of plans. I'm gonna see if I can take it. Whoa! Wall of text! The problem is, okay, I can't see the something courageous warriors clothed in chain armor behind Oh no! See, the problem is I can't, I can't all tab it or I'm going to screw up the game. Behind him were his warriors clad in t-shirts and jeans with rocks in their hands. Slowly approaching each other, Arvin of Veleron and Catabasis of Aragonia stopped about 50 feet from each other. Give us the girl now, Arvin shouted. Never, Catabasis bellowed. Retreating back to his army, Arvin of Veleron raised his fist in the air and screeched, Charge! Yelling the... Oh, there you go. They met in a snowy and desolate field. Arvin of Elrond stepped forth with his courageous warriors clothed in chain armor behind him. Arvin and his army intended to take the fortress and save Miranda, a beautiful maiden whose father had begged him to save his daughter and which had nothing at all to do with Mass Effect. In his way, the evil Catabasis stepped forth, his beard twinging with curiousness. Behind him were his warriors clad in t-shirts and jeans with rocks in their hands. Slowly approaching each other, Arvin of Elrond and Catabasis of Aragonia stopped about 50 feet from each other. Give us the girl now, Arvin shouted. Never, Catabasis bellowed. Retreating back to his army, Arvin of Elrond raised his fist in the air and screeched, Charge! Yelling, the army of Arvin of Elrond cha charged at the scrawny teenage army of Catabasis. Upon reaching Catabasis' army, the soldiers of Arvin of Elrond snatched swords from their sides and emitted a faint glow. That's pretty cool, Lego. Good stuff, man. Alright, um... What the hell was I doing? Oh, yes. Okay, I think I maxed everything out, except I need to get more sulfur for more phoenixes. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Their eyes growing as large as saucers, the teenagers of Catabasis said all at once, Lightsabers, and were immediately cut down by Arvin's soldiers. <laughs> when the battle was done, the only enemy left was their dear, bearded leader, Catabasis. Striding to Catabasis, Arvin said, The girl, please? I will not surrender, shouted Catabasis defiantly. Well, then this will probably change your mind. Taking a razor-sharp and lethal-looking blade from his belt, Arvin brought the razor to Catabasis' beard and began to cut it. No, not the beard! Catabasis wailed as he slumped to the ground. After his shaving, Catabasis no longer looked like a bearded dragon, but like a medieval Tom Cruise. In the end, Arvin of Elrond rescued the lovely maiden Miranda and triumphantly presented her to father, with Miranda marrying Arvin of Elrond. The evil Catabasis, on the other hand, put his treasured beard hair into a grave and gave it a solemn funeral. Towards the last days of his life, Catabasis built a shack and played board games in his basement. The end. Well done, Lego. Nice stuff. I approve. That's, those are walls of text that are okay. To get all of it in, that was worth it. Good job, man. Good stuff, man. Definitely your style, your, uh, your, your style is improving too, Lego, I want to say. So, uh, good job, man. I also am clapping, of course, because I happen to win this mystical fight that we're talking about. <laughs> uh, jo I'm just saying. 
Catabasis on the... Yeah, I want to see what he says when you read that to him. He's going to be like, uh, I'm not going to lose. What should talk about, Willis? All right. So now I can almost max all those guys out. Now I'm going to basically see which direction that guy goes. It's going that way. All right. Thank you for exposing yourself, sir. <laughs> hey, Rap. Welcome back, Rap. He would not read half the first part. He'd be like, what's all this? Yeah, exactly. What's all this then? Good to see you, Rap. I'm replaying that scenario from last night. Things are going a little bit better this time around. All right. I'm going to have to take that guy out. I'm going to I'm gonna try to recruit a bunch of guys and see if I can get some sulfur. Because if I can get some sulfur, then I could get another phoenix couple, uh, for that army down south. So... We'll see if that can work. 80 dwarves. Yes. 13 unicorns. <clears throat> I did, man. I had no Armageddon this time. <laughs> Gee. I did manage to overcome it. No, no sign of it so far. So, you can see things are going a little better this time around. I should have saved it already. That was dumb, but oh well. Save it in Arvcon two. All right. Now, eight hydras. That's no joke. That's no joke. I will have to deal with those hydras. <laughs> 